Okay, let's try this one more time. All right, this is Brick Life TV here coming to you guys on YouTube. What's up, my YouTube people? Two-way people, family, and voyagers, travelers like myself. So yeah, today I'm going to bring you guys a review of a little product I bought a few weeks ago. Now I'm putting on a little um, review on this thing here. Now, see, I'm a, what do you call a raw and uncut two-way YouTube channel. Just going to be bringing you all kind of crazy content, whatever it is, products, things I do on the range, um, things I do with my friends and family. You know, we're going to have a Mr. Beans parlay on Wednesdays, but we're going to be just kicking it, getting shit off our chest. So, yeah, stay tuned. It's coming to you guys live. I got a brand new studio here I built by myself. And here in my basement in my home in the Bean Town Mass. So, yeah, Mr. Bean, Brook Life TV. So, here we go, once again. Doing it fresh, doing it live, doing it new. All right, here we go. So, yeah, this is about this Bala... Olight Bala Mini um, with a green laser light. I kind of like it. So I brought it to see how it will fit on my subcompact Taurus G3C and my midsize FN509. These are both my. This is a. What do you call it, a budget gun, as you people might call it. And um, probably only pay like $250 for that or less. And. This I bought some years because I kind of like the Aaron Argots or whatever, tough word. I like the way it feels on your hand, um, the grip texture on there, um, and the heaviness. This thing is kind of like bossy. Um, here in Massachusetts, we have issues with getting uh, Gen 4s and Gen 5 Glocks, so that's what I really want, a Gen 4, Gen 5 Glock, so a Glock 19. So until we can purchase those without these uh, roster, gun rosters, and all these, how you might say, these might be unconstitutional laws that they got, whatever, we'll figure it out soon. But, <clears throat> so for now, yeah, I bought this Bala Mini to see how it goes on there. Like, I think um, I have one gun, my um, VP, VP9, HK, VP9, I got a light on there, um, and I kind of like it when I go to the range on a low light type thing, it looks good, but um, yeah, this thing, I just realized it only has one Picatinny rail on it, so that's why it was kind of hard for me to get it on the first time, but um, yeah, so this lever, it kind of loosens it up, well, oh, first of all, these guns are unloaded, nothing in the chamber, Nothing in the in the magwell unloaded for YouTube and for you guys. It's unloaded. So yeah, um, boom, clicks on just like that. Kind of like it. Makes it look nice and fancy. I don't know. I don't know. It looks pretty nice to me. Some people might not like it. They say it's a cheap gun, but it makes it look pretty decent to me. I don't like the nights, uh, the sights on it. Pretty cheap sights. Might change those. I only fired this gun probably. Didn't have no problems with it either. No, um, no stove pipes, none of that type of stuff. Refused to recycle, resuit, nothing there, whatever. Refused to cycle. It doesn't do all of that, none of that. Um, I put like probably a hundred, two hundred rounds in it, probably no issues. I keep it clean. I clean it all the time. Um, what I really want to do is get this baby Cerakoted with some kind of like camo type thing going on, but we'll get to that. But yeah, and I'll review it then when I get to that. But it's been busy, you know, family traveling. But yeah, that's that's a hard little piece of weapon for for the price. Um, so now this got once again nothing. It's empty. See, boom, safe, nothing. So yeah, this have multiple Picatinny rails on it. I don't know what it is, Picatinny or whatever the kind of rails it is. It clicks in pretty good. Boom, 
Gives it a nice little tool up. Huh? I think it looks good. Yeah. See that? Ooh, boom, there it goes in the light. That's the way it's supposed to look. Yeah, boom. I kind of like it. And I bought a, um, just for this gun, I bought a new um, outside the waistband holster in the OD green color to fit this Bala mini light so I could start taking this as my uh, sidearm weapon when I go to the range so I could look bossy like all them other dudes with they uh what do you call those things they are uh, um battle belts so i'm building a battle belt so um yeah i brought a a holster with a safari land leg drop mechanism that you put the the um what do you call that the holster on and then you put that holster on your battle belt through the webbing and then you came with a couple of mag holsters, mag thing, mag holsters for it. It's starting to look sick, but uh, I'll, I'll review that in <clears throat> due times. <clears throat> but yeah, check out this Bala Mini Light. I think it's nice. You guys might like it. Um, people who's balling on a budget, you might like it. One day I'll get a stream light when I get that Glock. I'll put the stream light on the Glock. But for now, for my budget guns, I'll stick with the... Olight. Thank you, Olight. They didn't give me the money. They didn't send me these products. I paid for this. So, yeah. There goes the words. They didn't give me the money. So, I paid for this. Um, I just wanted to see what it looked like on my gun. So, you know, no sponsors, anything like that, obviously. I don't even have no uh, following like that yet to say that Olight would be sponsoring this. So, but, yeah. Yeah, nice little weapon light. I think it'll look good on on your little, you know, budget guns or baller guns, whatever you want to put it on. But yeah, once again, guys, check me out for a new review on something 2A, something accessories that go on your on your um, handguns or rifles and stuff. So yeah, peace out, Mr. Beans, Good Life TV.